Hey everybody, welcome back to Learning to DIY. We're going to test Loctite's Naval Jelly versus Evaporust. And we're going to try it on some parts that are pretty rusty from the underside of the lawnmower. So let's make some mistakes. This is a quick test between Loctite Naval Jelly Rust Dissolver and CRC Evaporust. And one is a gel, like a thick jelly, uh, like it says and evaporust over here so i'm going to be you know smoothing it around on the surfaces this is evaporust over here also and we're gonna leave them in longer than the royal oh i guess i got the royal jelly in there well in that case we're gonna find out what two of them do together all right anyway we're gonna see what this looks like shortly and and uh after i see how quickly it scrubs off there's a blade between this collar and uh, this washer, and then this goes on. So um, these were the Evapo Rust, and uh, it didn't do a bad job. Um, and also didn't clean it properly before, which you're supposed to clean these properly before. Uh, so there was still, uh, but you could see that it was not in the evapo rust very deep because it did clear up this part and then the, the, the collar closest to where it's going to touch the mower is very rusty still. So that'll need another treatment. But look at this. Look at what the Loctite did. That gummy jelly royal goop uh, really knocked the rust off of this stuff. Naval, naval jelly, navy jelly, naval, yeah, that stuff really work on this stuff. I'm going to clean this up with a wire brush and a Dremel or possibly, uh, I don't know, some kind of some kind of brush and, <laughs> and a Dremel tool and uh, this is going to be really good uh, once, I, once I get it all cleaned up and uh, same with these. So we'll see where we end up once everything's cleaned up but yeah, clearly a big difference um, between evaporust, but this is supposed to sit in evaporust like 12 to 24 hours is fine for this stuff. Um, this, this, this is two hours, so I mean that's pretty impressive for two hours. So I guess I know what I'll be getting from now on because that works. That works like gangbusters. Okay, so you can see after we hit them with the wire brush on the grinder or on the bench grinder um it turned out pretty good um yeah not bad at all and uh for the inside of this uh it was a little more difficult i actually used a brass brush uh, cup on a drill and uh yeah worked out pretty good um so anyway that's cleaning up the parts for the underside of the mower so we can put the blades new blades on since this is raw metal it's going to rust pretty easy so i'm going to put this uh blaster surface shield on there this actually has a a bead in it when you shake it up so um i'm going to shake that up i'm going to spray that on here uh the instructions say to uh put a light coat and wait a couple minutes and then um, wipe it down with a cloth, wipe the, the residue off. Uh, in this case, I don't really think it's important to wipe the residue off. It's going to be on there. Um, it's still going to soak in, but, uh, for other things you're going to look at, uh, that might be important. But for this, I'll leave that residue on there to protect it as long as it can. These are the old mower blades, lots of chips. And uh, I may be able to get some of that out and save these blades for another time. But the new ones look pretty good. So it's been about a week. And it's rained a few times. And we got these pieces back on here with the blades. And you can see that the surface shield, it's dark. But there's no additional rusting or anything with pretty much... A lot of water exposure so um, 
it's still slick to the touch. So we'll see how it does with use over time. We had a winner in the Evapro Rust versus Loctite, and it looks like the winner for keeping things nice is the Surface Shield. So the definite winner here is the Loctite Naval Jelly over Evapro Rust for a two hour period. Uh, we may try it again for a longer period in the future if we have other things to, to try it on. Uh, the important thing is that your Loctite Naval Jelly is about 10 bucks, 10, 11. Um, Evaporust can range from like 9, 10 bucks, maybe a little cheaper on sale, all the way up to like $14 for a comparable size. So um, take a look at those, try it out for yourself, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks for learning with me.